It's your girl A. So I'm apologize in advance if my voice is a little low or scratchy. I'm just getting over the flu and I'm um, first time ever. But I wanted to show you my wash routine and also my wash routine with my first wig, y'all. So as y'all know, I've cut all my hair off and it wasn't like the best decision in my opinion, but it's growing on me. And you know, some things get you gotta just get used to. So they did send me some amazing products as you've seen in the video and I'm absolutely loving this scalp massager. I've never used one of these and it does make washing a lot easier. So prior to the conditioner, I did use the Even Silken shampoo because I did have a lot of product buildup in my hair and I decided to try this Carol's Daughters conditioner um, in my hair. I purchased this a couple of months back and so far I do like it um, I don't know I guess it's conditioner is not conditioner but you know you just can tell in the long run but girl listen I'm gonna use the scalp massager because it does feel really really good and now as you can tell my curls are sure popping and I'm also going to be taking one of my hair fluent vitamins thanks to one of my amazing subscribers divas here who you know introduced me to this product it's a really easy pill to take and thanks to my first wigs for this hair growth oil, which I've been using a lot because I need to get my edges back. Girl, I need to everything to grow, okay? If I could bathe in this hair growth oil, I would bathe in it. But it's an easy application. It comes with a dropper. And I just distribute it where I think that my hair is thinnest at, you know. That's my routine. And then I'll follow up with the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. I've been using Carol's Daughter Hair Milk for years and I absolutely love it. I use it in my wigs, especially the curly ones. I use it in my own hair. I use it in my kids' hair. I love Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. So if you haven't tried it, I would highly suggest it. It's the original formula. I haven't tried the other formulas, but yes, it keeps my hair so moist and soft and it smells so amazing. And also, just to sleek down my hair in style and foam it I'm going to be using the TGIF honey whipped foam I like this stuff too it is pretty pricey I do get it from Amazon for $11 and so far I like it I do use another styling foam but I prefer this one a lot better but because it's $11 girl I try to stretch it so what I do is I just you know 
apply the foam in my hair and then after I brushed it or combed it through I do use the eco styling gel as well along with that this will define my curls and it will also keep my curls from getting frizzy and dry so I just take a you know small tooth comb a rat tail comb and I comb it throughout my hair you know my hair is thin it has fallen out thanks to pre-menopause so you know it is what it is and I just slick it down slick it down all over and then I take the tail end and I just go through it run through it like that so that my curls could kind of like pop up this is what I do okay and you will see the end results in a second but if you need like a really good hair care product routine and you wear wigs you can definitely look on my first wigs for certain hair care products they do come in handy and y'all see my little curls okay now this part here was just you know a little bit extra I decided to add in so I'm gonna get ready for this video and these are my favorite lashes from the AOA shop it's a and they're called Luella now they don't look that great right here of course not they're straight there's nothing fancy about them but honey that is what the mascara wand is for I am going to make them look better than before okay and then, you know, you're going to see me in the video with my makeup applied and all that goody good, good stuff. Now you see the bottom versus the top. There is work that needs to be done for this. And now to prepare my face for this video, I love to use this spray, which I purchased a while ago at Bath & Body Works on one of their semi-annual sales. When I say a while ago, girl, I mean a while ago, like years ago. The boxes were like a dollar. I think I got like 20 boxes of this face refresher, skin refresher left. And it's, it works well. But you know, if you want to get pretty and glammed up, you got to definitely stay shave your mustache. So, hey, for uh, my first wigs video, I make sure that I look on point. Because the wig is definitely going to slay. And I got to make sure that I look cute when wearing a my first wig wig. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So today's video of course you already know it's my first week so it's definitely a go we're going to slay like we never slayed before and to top it off this is like a boss babe yakky straight bob so i call it boss babe because like i don't know it's just like a boss babe all all the wigs from my first wig is like a boss babe right like you cannot go wrong with my first wig girl okay and it's not just for beginners it's for everybody and it, who don't like a wig where you ain't got to do nothing but take it out the box and just style it the way you want to style it. like you ain't got to bleach it you ain't got to free pluck it you ain't got to tuck it you ain't got to do much of nothing but take it out the box and just style it the way you want to style it i'm just saying well i just got her girl okay and the only thing i did was repart the part you no, I'm not like the middle person, middle girl, middle part wearer. I keep telling y'all because my head is long. But when it comes to a bob, I really don't want to wear it in the middle part because it's already like a certain short length. And it just kind of, to me, makes my head appear even longer. So, girl, I try to take away from the longevity of my head. But isn't she gorgeous? This is a beautiful wig. She going to do it like it's her day, okay? Well, as Norm, she has that Swiss tinted lace, girl. She got her eyelash band sewn inside with the signature logo and she's got combs and an adjustable strap she's got nice lengthiness of parting so girl let's just get into this okay let's just get into this Alright y'all, so let's get into this. I had to put my wig grip silicone band on. Girl, you can get that from my first wig too, baby. 
okay now mind you i've had this wig for a minute not that long but the video is a few days late just because i wasn't feeling really well but girl listen let me tell y'all this wig is beautiful okay my first wig they know what they be doing when they be making these wigs they be making people fall in love with their quality okay they know what they be doing all right i'm gonna just say that my first wig y'all know y'all be making people fall in love with y'all wigs it's so easy to put on a wig from them all i did with this wig when i received it was just press it to the opposite side like i didn't want my part in the middle so I just made it on the side, okay? I know I got a long head, so I don't really want my part in the middle on a long head. But girl, listen, this wig is gorgeous. The highlights in it is just awesome. The yakky texture is flowing like the hair moves, okay? It moves. It doesn't just move when you move. It moves on its own. Look at the lace. The lace is so meltable. It is just the best lace in the world. Movable, breathable, realistic, invisible knots, you know, Swiss tinted. Honey, this is one of those wigs where you could just slap anybody if they try to ask you if you got on a wig because they wouldn't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't even know if you had on a wig. They would just have to ask you. This is one of those slap the people wigs, okay? Slap yourself because you forgot you had on a wig wig. This is an amazing wig. And as though I'm not like the biggest bob person, bobs have grown on me. And I will tell you, if I'm a wear bob, it has to be a yakky texture. I just think like bobs are made for yakky texture. I don't know. That's just my opinion, you know? We are all entitled to our opinions. But I did notice that the camera, like blanked out in one of the, the spots in the video so you didn't see me use my little um mark anthony mousse styling foam which i know i always do the wig is not tacked down right here as you can see it's just you know you can pull it up and down the only part that i tacked down was the sideburn hairs you know right there that's it but the camera did cut off and i was not aware of that so i do apologize but y'all didn't miss nothing honey because all i did was just use my little foam like i do in every video and put my little elastic band on and bam here we go looking cut you what do you know doing this like it's my b-day on an everyday flow right, guys so this was easy 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 now i think the camera cut off like i don't really know how many minutes but i don't think y'all seen the end when i put the elastic band on but I did use the foam just to put my little edges down like not my edges but my little sideburn hairs and I also used the foam on my edges now granted it's not going to stick the lace down to your head when you use this it's just going to you know style it and I just like to brush it into my lace the hair so that way this lays a little bit flatter but yeah so if you did guys if I did the camera cut off I do apologize um Hopefully I got as much info as need be, but y'all know my routine about installing a lace wig. And with my first wig, you really don't got to do much, girl, but just put it on and go. You don't have to uh, glue it down, spray it down. Like it molds to your head. Look at this. I did not even pluck the wig, girl. Okay. This is the wig straight out of the box. I'm so happy that um, my first wig company is a caring, nurturing company. Like they really do care about their customers along with their influencers, along with their friends and family. They do have a very caring heart. And the items that they sent to me were not you know, mentioned, I never mentioned to them that I was going through like hair loss or like, you know, upset about my hair loss, but they do, you know, follow me on social media. So they was able to see that I was going through something just by my video, by me cutting my hair off and just stating how it was making me feel. So I'm very appreciative that they did send me those products and I do use them. Now, the other night I slept in the sleep mask with, you know, the little mask thing. Girl, I can't do everything on my face. I tried because I just wanted to feel a little bougie for the moment. But yeah, girl, when I woke up, that, that mask had me break out in a hot flash, hot sweat. Yes. But if you love sleeping with the sleep mask on, then that's on you. But I thought I would just try something out. Now, as for the silk pillowcase, that did come in handy because I just sleep on a cotton pillowcase. And so it does, you know, absorb my hot flashes. Now, so the satin pillowcase was a little bit different for me, you know, because I do get really, really hot in the middle of the night, throughout the night. You know, I just, it's, mon it's menopause, baby. It's menopause. And because I've had surgery, you know, I've gone through this at a, like a really early age. So, I have come to learn that the hair falling out, the hair thinning is a lot to do with menopause because I've done everything to try and take care of my hair. But, you know, it's just part of life, I guess. And I am slowly getting through it. I am slowly adjusting to this little bit of hair that I have. And it's growing on me, like literally growing on me. Hopefully it's really growing. But the style is growing on me. But 
I'm happy that if I don't like my hair that bit, I could definitely throw on a wig. Something easy. Not too much hair, not too much length because my hair is super short and I don't really like a lot of hair. So I think like for this length, this is very acceptable to me. And y'all know I never really cared for no bobs, but I like the texture of this bob. I think like for me, the best type of bobs are yakky texture here. I'm not like really crazy about the silky bobs. And I guess it's because it's not a lot of density. It's not so thick, but the yakky bobs girl listen hello and it's kind of hard to find yakky hair on stock so with my first wigs they always got yakky hair on stock a lot of the wigs you can choose which one which hair texture you want and for me i like yakky and kinky straight those are my favorite textures and i just feel like a bob is definitely a bob when it comes to yakky texture. but this yeah. one came out so cute it is really really cute the color is great the cut is nice it's not too dense oh, it's okay. just perfect but definitely check out my first wig they have so many things that you can use when a Applying your wigs, not just for wigs, but you can also use a lot of their products to take care of your own natural hair, girl. So if you're on a hair growth journey, honey, then make sure you check out their products. If you just want to look cute, honey, and slay on any given day, then do it like it's your B day and get you a My First Wig, okay? Yes, girl. But I will leave all the information down below. I got to go, girl. I will see y'all in the next video. Go, go, go.